And they stood in their place after their manner, according to the law of Moshe, the man of Elohim. The priests sprinkled the blood which they received of the hand of the Levites. So they're, they're doing exactly right. what they were supposed Just to do. Just like we are. <clears throat> Decently and in order. Yes. Like they knew to do. Yeah. It's one thing not to know to do it. Uh-huh. And it's a whole other thing to know to do it and not do it. And just that, that's a whole to do it. different level of Yes, it is. Teach it all that. That's that's a whole different level uh -huh, of uh -huh. rebellion against Yahweh. Yeah. Verse 17. For there were many in the congregation that were not sanctified. Therefore the Levites had the charge of the killing of the Passovers for every one that was not clean to sanctify them. Unto Yahweh. Praise and they were Yahweh. taking it seriously Praise so the people could be made right. Yeah. So they got into their rightful position. Yes. And then the things just start falling like dominoes in right order. Uh -huh. Verse 18. For the for a multitude of the people, even many of Ephraim and Manasseh, Ishakah, and Zebulun had not cleansed themselves, yet did they eat the Passover otherwise. Then it was written. But Hezekiah prayed for them, saying, The good Yahweh pardon everyone. Alright, so here is the, the Melech, and the people weren't quite right, but he stood up and Praise. he asked Yahweh to, you know, he, said, well, Yahweh. he asked him to forgive them and pardon them. And we're gonna see Yahweh heard his prayer, verse 19. That prepared his heart to seek Elohim. Yahweh Elohim of his Abbas, though he be not cleansed according to the purification of the sanctuary. In 20. And Yahweh hearkened to Hezekiah and healed the people. Praise he healed the Yahweh. People. Yes, yes, he will. Go to Acts the seventh chapter. So so generations that don't know Yahweh have are stiff of neck and they identify their identities are hard bondage identities. They become Kashik, that's Q-A-S-H-E-H, -E and Strong's number 7186. They become identified, that's their identity, hard bondage. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Meaning they're difficult to deal yeah. with. They're obstinate. They're hard headed. Yeah. And they hold as their core belief, a rebellion against authority. Uh -huh. Why? Because their generation is in rebellion against the ultimate authority. That's right. So these people That's that right. come from these generations, uh -huh. their core belief yeah, is to rebel like is. against any authority. Right, right. Tell it like it is. Acts the seventh chapter. They're cashy, difficult, obstinate, stubborn. Yep. That's Hard to deal that with. Is us, some of our peoples today. Acts 7. So you can tell they came from a generation. Yeah, didn't know that's yet. it. All of us were like that. Yeah. Acts 7. And we start at verse 51. Acts 7. And let's read verse 51, please. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and uh -huh, ears, uh -huh. ye do always resist the Holy yeah. Spirit as your. Abba's did. Yeah. Yeah. So he was locating them for a generation that did not know Yahweh. Yeah. A long line of generations yeah. that did not know yeah. Yahweh. And this is uh, Stephen, uh, right before he was martyred. But he, Yahweh gave him the words to say, and he said, uh -huh. and he said you That's right, just like we are. Praise Yahweh. Stiff necked and uncircumcised in mind. You stony hard people. Uh -huh. You hard to, difficult, to deal with people. Yeah. You people that rebel against authority. Uh -huh. That's the generation you're from. He said, You do always resist Ruach HaKadosh as your Abba did, so do ye. Yeah. Again, Generations that don't know Yahweh are in rebellion yep. against Yahweh. Just look around. And they produce people in rebellion Just against look Yahweh. Around. And their core belief is to rebel yep. against authority. That, just Why? Look because around. they're rebelling against the ultimate That's right. Authority. That's right. Teach that gets like ingrained it. in us. Uh huh. Verse 52. Which of the prophets have not which of the prophets have not your Abbas persecuted? And they have slain them which 
show before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers. All right, so he's wielding this this uh, two-edged sword. And he's Zorro up in here. He's, he's just, he's reading their mail, and he's telling them the truth, and it's, it's, it's burning their ears. Yeah, yeah. But because they got this core rebellion, yeah. and they don't want to submit, and they have to be right, people from these generations that don't know Yahweh got a know-it-all attitude. Huh. Yeah. yeah. They just know everything. Don't know they want to out talk you. Yeah. This, this is what the Genesis is yeah. their trademark. Uh -huh. and, and all of us were like that if we came <laughs> from those generations. Yeah. Here is Stephen telling them, which of the Nabi have not your Abba persecuted? You persecuted them all. In other words, he's saying, you're from a long line of yeah, rebellious yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. You're from a long line of people that hate Yahweh and hate what he's about. He said they they kill them that showed before of the coming of the just one. That's Yahshua. Yeah. And then he said, and you kill the just one. You yourself kill the just one. Verse 53. Who have received the des the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. Now that they, they, they were fighting mad at this one. <laughs> Because they prided themselves on being law keepers. Yeah, they yeah. prided themselves on doing the jot and the tittle and doing yeah. everything exactly by the law. Yeah. But they were just as stony hearted and hard hearted uh -huh. and cold hearted. Why? Because they came from that generation and they hadn't submitted to Yahweh to let him take that cold right, heart right. out Teach of them. It. Like but when he went to them receiving the law but not keeping it, that was it. They couldn't take it because they just knew they <laughs> were the law keepers. If anybody didn't keep it, it certainly wasn't them. In verse 54, when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth. So they were so emotionalized yeah. by that, so charged. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Why? They had a choice. They could have humbled down. They could have looked at themselves. That's another thing Yahweh's going to show us. Generations that don't know Yahweh get fighting mad yeah. when, you, when, when yeah. Yahweh tries to get them to look at themselves. Yeah. Why? Because they got a know-it-all attitude. Yeah. They think they're always right. Yeah, they so they will okay. fight with you if you try to yeah. tell them there's anything that they yeah. need to look at them yeah. and see is wrong. Yeah. Because they don't see their rebellion against no, Yahweh as being wrong. Teach it that like it is. So when they heard him telling these things, which are 100% true, says they were cut to the quick. Yeah. They were cut just like that veil of the temple when Yeshua died was cut in two. They were cut in two yeah. by these words of truth. And the only reason the words cut them in two was because they were stiff of neck uh -huh. and stubborn and uh -huh. didn't want to Tell submit to what Yahweh was saying to them. Yeah. Instead, they ran and started just biting him. Let's go to Galatians 4. So, just the opposite. Yahweh raises up generations, not having a stony heart, but he raises them up as privileged. Yeah. He raises them up under tutors and governors. Yes. Like rich children. Galatians 4, with the best of care. This is probably the last Galatians 4. And we're going to read verses 1 and 2. Galatians 4 and verse 1. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be master of all. Verse 2. But is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Abba. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah. This is the opposite. Yahweh raises up generations and they're under tutors and governors. Yeah, yeah, praise be to Yahweh. Tutors and governors are generations that have an eye towards what the future holds right, right. for people. Yes. Number one, spiritually. Yes. That's it. 
This is what tutors and governors have an eye uh -huh. for. What does the spiritual impact of the generation's life right. have to do with? They show and they tell them that Yahweh is the center of their life. Yahweh, that's, that's right. And generations that do not know Yahweh do not. No, they don't. Do that. Let's go to Proverbs two. <laughs> so these tutors and governors, let them know first yeah. place is reserved for Yahweh. Yeah, that's it. And they teach them to submit to authority mm -hmm. because they are submitted yes. to the authority of Yahweh. Yes. And, and as the saying goes, you can't teach something that you don't have. Right, right. That you don't do. Uh-huh. You don't know how to lead if you hadn't, haven't been submitted I to can. a leader. I can. You, you don't know how to submit if you haven't learned to submit. That's right. You, you just, you can't teach it. No I way. remember our, uh, we, our first teacher uh, loved him to life. But he wasn't very strong on teaching not working on the Shabbat. Okay. Because he would uh, work a little bit on the Shabbat. And so he couldn't just really, you know, nail that to the wall. Right, right. Because you can't nail to the wall anything that you're not fully committed. That's right. Teach it that like it is. Proverbs uh, 2 and verse 15. Whose ways are crooked, uh -huh. and they throw it in their path. Yeah. So, generation that don't know Yahweh, again, they have crooked ways. Yeah. They don't yeah. raise their children up under tutors. That's and all they do and know. They don't raise them up as underprivileged. It's like whatever's going on in their life, most of them are selfish, and whatever their yeah. their first place or something Teaches else. Teaches us place, right. It's whatever's right. going on in their life, it'll take precedence, and and whatever else is going on around them. Uh huh then that just, okay, you just fall in line where you can. What, whatever extra time I have, then I'll give you that little bit of time. But other uh -huh. than that, I'm going to do this thing.